Hello everyone, and first and foremost, I'd just like to thank everybody for all the new support. We just hit 100 subscribers and we're actually at 120, so we're growing up much faster than I thought we would. And secondly, I just try, I'm just i trying out a new format for um, these videos. They're going to be like more concise, um, quick and clear. Hopefully these are just easier to make so I can just pump them out faster um, since everybody seems to be wanting these videos. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So in this video, we'll be working on the front end of the ALU with the accumulator and the inverter. Uh, the accumulator is basically a register or a buffer. It just stores the information until you want to push it down to the ALU for it to like do its um, process. And the inverter helps with other processes for the ALU like subtraction, multiplication, division, and all that. So now on to how to build it. We'll be starting off with the accumulator, which is this part in pink here. I'm just going to make a simplified version over here which essentially looks like this. It looks a lot more complicated up there than it really is, but... Oops. It goes there. You have to put a comparator on subtraction mode. And here is basically a simplified version of what's going on up there. It looks a lot more complicated here, but you can see the lever, the button, lever, button. Um, and then you've got the repeaters, the comparator just going right out. Um, the only tricky part that's different up there is this bit right here. Basically what this does is it like finally pushes the signal. When it's off it pushes the signal out so let's just say it's a 1. Then you register that. See now it pushes the signal out but when you turn this on it cancels the signal so that that's what that does. And I just hooked it up to one continuous line and just as one lever up here and I kind of had to mess with it a little bit down here. And so just a quick note from the last one. This um, whole like uh, stopping part where it stops the signal from going out and holds it back in the register will eventually be um, connected up to a clock uh, that, that'll just automatically do it for the system. So this won't really be here for long. We'll build a clock uh, eventually. Um, but next up we have the inverter which is this blue and green thing here and essentially what it does is invert the signal. So if I just uh, click the blue line you can see the entire blue line went, um, went off. So essentially what I'll be doing is inverting the bigger number by making a negative and then adding a negative to the positive, which then like works out and becomes subtraction. Um, and then multiplying and division comes in like a little later with some more pieces, but this is basically the fundamental core part and I'm just going to stand in front of it for now. You can pause the video here and just build it. So that's the end of this video and I just want to close by saying that hopefully I can get back on a good schedule and post one of these every week. Next week I plan on doing more back end stuff like buffers, probably the rear buffer and something else, I haven't thought of that quite yet. Um, and also thanks so much for the 121 subscribers, hopefully we can get that to 200, maybe 1000 um, by the end of this year. But yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.